Brenton is wiping his face clean and as he trips on no, not in that. <laughs> Spit on myself. It's okay. Good morning everyone. Spit on myself again. This is not going as planned. <laughs> Bro, I wanted to wear this shirt. It's getting soaking wet. We're gonna go look at something I've always wanted to look at. Uh, I wanted Chris to come with us, but I don't think he can. Maybe we can show him after though, if we're bringing it home. I don't know, but uh... <laughs> I won't spit it out anymore. Brinley, there's not enough to spit anymore. Look. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. Me and today we're here at the Fanatic Farm and Brinton is out ready to feed all of these animals. Steven is about to take his horns and shove them straight up Brinton's ass. But that's okay. He's going to dump all of this right on top of his head, leaving none of it for the animals to actually eat. Oh my god, he faced falling down oh my god the animals are attacking him he's gonna end up like me they're gonna eat all of his hair off and he's gonna be completely bald maybe you should holy jeez that was amazing i cannot believe the pure and unadulterated sportsman like conduct that just occurred as he is trying to bob for pig right into the bucket Oh my god, do you smell that? Do you smell the smell coming from the bucket right now? And in fact, you're going to have to deal with this, Jake Juan. The smell coming off of Brenton's head right after he's done rolling around in the pig. Brenton is wiping his face clean and as he trips on his nose, not in that. Hey, Brenton, you might want to grab your Velcro glove and try to grab Russell once again. I'm done with this can you believe the smell coming out of this pen? I'm not really sure exactly what kind of workout he's doing right now, but the pigs think they're about to get fed, and in fact, I think that's what's about to happen right now is Brenton is going back into the pond for a little bit of water for a nice big old drink, and he's taking it all the way down the gullet. The turkey's over here waddling sideways. I think Brenton Zeckley may have taken advantage of him late last night in the middle of the night. Now he's got the bucket on his head. He's running fast into the wall bucket head <laughs> the packers are looking at the rear end of brenton i think that they're about to start their battle cry i've never seen a wider moon in the middle of the day than the one i see right now it is crazy we should probably call a meteorologist astronomist some sort of ologist to find out maybe it's a proctologist that we need to call i'm not really sure but some sort of ologist needs to come out and check out this white moon that we see in the middle of the day and now brenton is laying down stroking bobby's neck like it is none other than than an OnlyFans account. Now Bobby is biting him back because Bobby knows what's going to happen. He's like, Brenton, pull your pants up. Gusting. Did you see that? Brenton is pulling watermelons straight from the fairy godmother right over the fence. We don't know where it's coming from, but he is eating it. And he's worried about diseases, yet he's eating half-eaten watermelon. It's absolutely disgusting. That was definitely the stupidest bit we've ever filmed. I enjoyed it. We have a little bit of a dilemma. So we tried to call them and their phone number's out of service. And they also have no reviews on Google, which is like, I'm not saying it's like sketchy, but you know, that's like a little weird. Bro, if we drove an hour and a half here for there not to be mini trucks, I'm going to be so sad. <gasps> They look closed. Why, why do they look closed? No way. Definitely look closed, but you know, it says they're open, but I see one. I see one. Oh my God. Oh my God. This one doesn't have its bed on it, but I guess that's okay. Oh my God, look at it. Look at this thing. This one is a little broken at the moment. Oh, shit. this is awesome. They're supposed to have like some way cooler ones. Like here's some pictures of them. I, I want to see those so we can, we're, we're going to come and buy one. This one probably doesn't drive. <laughs> I hear something going on back there. Are they working on the mini trucks? Yeah, it looks like this would be the door to get inside. Two years. The lady in there said they haven't been here in two years. Check one. So who the f what mini truck is that? And why is there a sign up there that says clear fork mini trucks? I want to buy the damn mini truck. What the? Who doesn't show up at their office for two years on Google? It says they're open. <laughs> you can cut the camera. <laughs> We're going to the other one. It's four hours away. This is a straight up house. What the hell? What? <laughs> Bro, it's at a house. <gasps> Mini truck. Oh! Wow. So do you say this one sold too? Yeah. Okay, so what's one like this going for? 26? This one is sick. I really like this one. Now are these street legal? 
Do you guys do a lot of sales? This would probably be the one I'd want to get. Oh my gosh. Plenty of leg room. This little one is sick too. Yeah, he was uh, an asshole. Definitely not gonna buy a mini truck from him. Not the nicest guy, on to the next mini truck place. See, like, if, if you're cool about it, like, if you're not a dick about it, then, like, yeah, you know, I'll buy one from you. But, like, if you're gonna be a dick about it, I'm not gonna give you my business. On to the next one. Why is this one a piece of sh we're back at the first one because I, I don't know what to do. Who the hell was gonna tell me buying mini trucks was so damn hard? Can we just take it? I mean, there's nothing stopping us. I mean, like, how the hell would you not wanna drive that? I mean, yeah, the bed may be missing as well as the seats and most everything to make it run. I just want a mini truck, Jake One. That's all I want. Ooh. Okay, so we looked at the mini trucks. We got one more we're supposed to look at tonight. I was really interested in this one. I mean, look at it. It's sick. Why would you not be interested in that? Unfortunately, I stand by this thing where, you know, if the person who's selling you something is kind of a to you then don't give them your business regardless how much you want it and i've seen other ones that nice so i'd rather buy them from someone else click the like button click the like button if you get if you guys show a lot of support on this video maybe like 375,000 likes or something like that <laughs> we'll buy we'll buy five we'll buy five of them i got much bigger plans right now though <sighs> for the past few minutes we've been manufacturing designing and constructing this right here this is a poppet on top of a nerf bullet so when you shoot it Chris is inside here right now. I locked and loaded. <laughs> hey, uh, what's going on? Huh? What's up? <gasps> Go! Run! Go, <laughs> I got this. Did I get you? No. Did I get you that time? No. I didn't get you any of the times? No, not once. Oh, shit. I took that really seriously. I've been trying to do that for a few days. Just take these and you have to put them in your mouth and chew them up. I thought you said they weren't that bad. <laughs> Oh my god. Wasabi peas. Roasted wasabi peas, so you left out the wasabi part. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> what is th Is that a drone? Is that a- is that- what does that say? Do you see that? It's got a note on it for something. I don't understand. I don't know what, what? It's right here. Oh! Oh! Handheldstocks.com! Uh, this is an ad. <laughs> we just dropped this new thing where you guys get this shirt and a Pokemon pack signed for $25 on handheldstocks.com. I don't know how the person flying that drone knew that. That's definitely not my handwriting at all. No, seriously though, it's a, it's a really cool idea. You get a shirt, all you do is select your size. $25 and you get a Pokemon pack. The total of your order is worth $50 and you're getting it for $25. But it's just a quick little plug. I think we had to throw in there. It was necessary. But I mean, I just thought it, you know, I just thought it was a good idea. Bye.